Hello students, welcome to the subject of complex variable and partial differential equation. Myself, Dr. Ankit Acharya. Let's solve one more example. Evaluate integration e raised to z upon z into 1 minus z whole cube dz. Now here, you can understand there are two circles are given. First circle is mod z is equal to 1 by 2. Okay, and the second circle is mod z minus 1 that is equal to 1 by 2. So first of all, we find integration for mod z is equal to 1 by 2. Now what are the poles 0 and 1 clearly your denominator become 0 at point 0 and 1 ok. So e raised to z upon z into 1 minus z cube as a simple pole at z is equal to 0 and a pole of order 3 at z is equal to 1 that means 0 is a simple pole because z, uh, z here in denominator z occur in only one time so that is why uh, 0 is a simple pole and 1 is a pole of order 3. So, mod z is equal to 1 by 2, the equation mod z is equal to 1 by 2 uh, represents a circle with center 0, 0 and radius 1 by 2. Okay. So, the pole at z is equal to 0 is inside C. Now, residue of f of z at z0 is equal to 0 is z tends to z0 limit z minus z0 into f of z. Okay. Uh, instead of z0, here we have 0, so that is why z into what is my f of z, f of z is e raised to z upon z into 1 minus z whole cube. So, this z will be cancelled out and instead of z, just take 0, so you will get e raised to 0, 1. In denominator, we have 1 minus 0, so 1, so the residue at point 0, that is 1. Now, the pole at z is equal to 1 is not inside C. Okay, because for this circle, try to understand, for this circle, mod z is equal to 1 by 2, that means, suppose this is your circle, okay, with center 0, 0, right, with center 0, and radius is 1 by 2, and 1 is outside the circle, okay, here we have 1 by 2 approximately, right, so only 0 is inside the given circle C, 1 is outside the given circle C. So that's why we have to find out the residue for only at point 0, okay. And that's why the value of this integration that is 2 pi i into 1, okay, and that is the 2 pi i. Now we find the residue, now we find the value of this integration for this circle, mod z minus 1 that is equal to 1 by 2. So that's why mod z minus 1 that is equal to 1 by 2 means, suppose uh, 1 is a center, okay. 1 center and radius is 1 by 2. So, this is your circle approximately and 0 is outside the given circle C. Now, 1 is inside the given circle C. So, that is why we find residue for only 1, not for 0. Okay. But uh, now clearly 0 is outside the circle and 1 is inside the circle. But 1, z is equal to 1 is a pole of order 3. Okay. N is equal to 3. So that is why we have to apply this formula, residue of f of z at point z is equal to z0 that is limit z tends to z0 1 upon n minus 1 factorial, ok, n minus 1 factorial, dn minus 1 upon dz raised to n minus 1, z minus z0 raised to n into f of z, ok. And now that is why residue of f of z at point z is equal to 1 is limit z tends to 1. 1 by 2 factorial because instead of n here we have n is equal to 3. So, 1 by 2 factorial now second derivative d square by dz square instead of n we have 3. So, here 3 minus 1 so that is 2. So, d square by dz square z minus 1 whole cube ok n is equal to 3. So, z minus 1 whole cube and e raised to z upon z into 1 minus z whole cube. Now, this z minus 1 whole cube and 1 minus z whole cube that will be cancel out minus can be outside minus sign so we get minus 1 by 2 ok 1 by 2 is already here and minus sign we can take outside from the bracket so minus 1 by 2 z tends to 1 limit d square by dz square e raised to z upon z. Now we have to differentiate this function e raised to z upon z two times and in that differentiation we just take z is equal to 1 ok. So, minus 1 by 2 as it, is, as it is, z tends to 1 limit d by dz. Now, the first differentiation of e raised to z upon z that is using division rule z square in denominator 
z into e raised to z minus e raised to z. Okay, so that is e raised to z upon z e raised to z into z square minus 2z plus 2 upon z raised to 3, and that's why the final answer you will you will get minus e by 2. So by using residue theorem 2 pi i into minus e by 2, so that is minus pi i e. Okay. So the next example, using residue theorem, evolute integration z square sin z upon 4 z square minus 1. What is the circle? Circle is mod z that is equal to 2. So approximately, uh, this is my circle with center 0, 0 and radius 2, right? With center uh, 0, 0 and radius 2, right? So suppose this is 2 and minus 2. And now, 4 z square minus 1. So denominator becomes 0. Now we, we know that 4z square minus 1 can be simplified with 2z minus 1, 2z plus 1. So this is exactly 4z square minus 1 can be written as 2z minus 1, right? 2z minus 1 into 2z plus 1. And this two term, this two linear factor becomes 0 at point z is equal to plus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2. So somewhere here 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2, right? And both the points are inside the given circle. Okay, so this is just a rough work to understand that your singular points both are inside the given circle C. Okay, so now let f of z is equal to z square sin z upon 4z square minus 1 and clearly f of z has a simple pole at z is equal to plus or minus 1 by 2. Why it is simple pole? Because the degree of 2z minus 1 and 2z plus 1 both have degree 1. Okay. So that's why a simple pole at z is equal to plus or minus 1 by 2. Now both the poles are inside C, mod z is equal to 2, the residue of f of z at z is equal to minus 1 by 2, right? Residue of f of z that is equal to minus 1 by 2. First of all, I want to find residue at z is equal to minus 1 by 2. So find out residue using this limit, z tends to minus 1 by 2 limit. Z minus Z0. What is Z0? Z0 is minus 1 by 2. So now we have Z plus 1 by 2. Z square sin Z upon 4 Z square minus 1. Now instead of 4 Z square minus 1, I can write 2 Z minus 1 into 2 Z plus 1. Okay. So instead of 4 Z square minus 1, I just write 2 Z minus 1, 2 Z plus 1. And here, just take LCM instead of Z plus 1 by 2, I can write 2 Z plus 1 by 2. So this 2 Z plus 1 now cancel out. Okay, this 1 by 2, I just write here outside the bracket. So, z square sin z upon 2z minus 1. And now, uh, take z is equal to minus 1 by 2. So, instead of z is equal to minus 1 by 2, z square become 1 by 4. So, here I have 1 by 4 sin minus 1 by 2. Okay, sin minus 1 by 2. And here, you can see that minus 1 by 2 into 2. So, that is 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1. Right? So that is minus 2, right, okay, and 1 by 4, 1 by 2 and into 2. So that is 1 by 16 and minus sine and here sine minus 1 by 2. So that is minus sine 1 by 2, sine is an odd function. So we can write minus sine 1 by 2. One denominator we have minus 2. So both minus cancel out. So finally we have sine 1 by, uh, 1 by 16, sine 1 by Okay, so the residue at point z is equal to minus 1 by 2, that is 1 by 16 sin 1 by 2. And now, find out the residue at z is equal to 1 by 2. So, with a similar manner, z tends to 1 by 2 limit z minus 1 by 2, z square sin z upon 4 z square minus 1. Okay, now take LCM, so 2 z minus 1 by 2, z square sin z, the simplification of 4 z square minus 1, so that is 2 z minus 1, 2 z plus 1. Now this 2z minus 1 cancel out, okay, and now we have 1 by 2, I just write here outside the bracket, now we have z square sin z upon 2z plus 1, and that's why instead of z is equal to 1 by 2, we have 1 by 4 sin 1 by 2, right, and 2, so the final answer is, that is 1 by 16 sin 1 by 2, okay, and now by residue theorem, we know that we have to add this to residue and multiply with 2 pi i. So 2 pi i into sum of the residue of f of z inside c. So 2 pi i into 1 by 16 sin 1 by 2 plus 1 by 16 sin 1 by 2. So the final answer is pi i by 4 sin 1 by 2. Okay, because this is 2 by 16 sin 1 by 2. 
and 2 into 2 4 and 4 by 16 so that is 1 by 4 so pi i by 4 sin 1 by 2 okay now the next example evolute integration 1 upon z square plus 1 whole square dz where c that is mod z plus 1 equal to mod z plus i equal to 1 okay that means what is your center center is minus i compare with mod z minus z0 that is equal to r okay so what is your center center is minus i minus i is suppose here okay this is my minus i point and radius is 1 so this is my circle okay approximately this is your circle with the radius 1 and now clearly z square plus 1 so z square plus 1 can be written as z plus i into z minus i and i and minus i both are analytic uh, i and minus i both are singular point but only minus i is inside the given circle c so that's why you have to find out the residue at only minus i okay so clearly now you can understand that all the sentences f of z has second order poles at z is equal to plus or minus i because the degree of z plus i and z minus i that is 2 now the pole of z is equal to i is outside the pole and z is equal to minus i is inside the given circle so that's why just we find residue at point minus i only okay and for that we have to follow this rule okay z tends to z0 limit 1 upon n minus 1 factorial uh, n minus 1 derivative with respect to z of this function z minus z0 raised to n into f of z now instead of n we have 2 so first of all 1 upon 1 factorial you have uh, d by dz because n is equal to 2 so 2 minus 1 that is 1 so d by dz z minus z0 raised to 2 okay and uh, f of z so that's why the residue of f of z at point minus i that is z tends to minus i limit 1 upon 1 factorial d by dz z plus i whole square and this is my f of z this function is f of z 1 upon z square plus 1 whole square and that can be written as because see this is z plus i whole square i just simplify this bracket okay this bracket and this is z square plus 1 so that can be written as z plus i into z minus i right uh, z square plus 1 can be written as z plus i into z minus i and whole square so that's why this z plus i whole square cancel out so now you have only 1 upon z minus i whole square so that's why i write here 1 upon z minus i whole square and differentiate this function with respect to z so you will get minus 2 okay minus 2 i just write outside from the limit minus 2 upon z minus i whole cube and that's why the final answer is minus 1 upon 4i so by residue theorem 2 pi i into some of the residue of f of z inside c so 2 pi i into minus 1 upon 4i so the final answer is minus pi by 2 so in today's lecture just we discuss about Cauchy residue theorem and we solve so many examples from last two lecture okay so just we complete our last chapter residue of your syllabus and in this topic uh, first of all you have to learn about how you can find the residue using Lorentz series also if you want to find residue directly from any function for that you have to follow some rules and after that Cauchy residue theorem so suppose you have residue then using that residues uh, you can easily find out the value of integration of f of z over the closed contour c thank you